Let's go and add some post-processing. You can go to this icon, press post-process, select it. And then we scroll down here and we're gonna add some things. And usually when I'm in this process, I really like this part and I just see what fits with my scene. So I'm gonna go past everything to see if I need to use it or not. I will use global elimination. I will use ambient occlusion, but when I select it, you see it's really, really heavy. So I'm gonna change that. Maybe for now, I'm gonna change the background to dark. So you guys can probably see it a bit better. The size was way too big. I want it a little bit, but it goes overkill, like super fast. So be careful with that. Depth of field would be nice if you have, again, if you have something on the foreground or like a focal point. I'm not really sure if it's beneficial to us. Bloom could be nice, but not that much. Feels like a hot, hot summer day, maybe. Tone mapping. Okay, then we go into color grading. And as you can see, it's like a camera effect. So it affects everything. So also the background, you see? So that's something to keep in mind. If you click again, you get another dot to work with. Then curvature. I do like to add this a lot to my rocks because it makes you able to highlight the edges a bit. And I'll show you how. Um, first off, the bump, you see I have it set to white. And then you see all the edges, yeah, basically get accentuated, which is nice, but I don't want a white. I want a color that's a bit more close to my model. Something like this maybe. And then not as extreme, just a little bit. Then a cavity is like, well, it basically highlights the cavities. You cannot see it very well, I think maybe here and here, the line here. I like again I like adding this, but black, pure black is a bit harsh in my opinion. So I usually change it to a bit more again closer to my model's color in this particular example it would be like a dark brown dark red type of color that works chromatic aberration you see what it does i hardly ever use this well maybe on some characters but to get a crazy effect vignette can do that but no and a grain, I do add a grain because it makes a bit more, makes it look a bit more filmic or whatever you call this. Again, not too harsh because then it just gets really noisy. Just a little bit to make it look less fake, digital or something. Sharpness, I like sharpness as well. It just adds an extra sharpness but it's a choice because it looks more filmic like this it's a bit exaggerated of course but it would be looking more filmic if uh, you have the sharpness low and the higher you have it the more yeah illustrated it looks you know like sort of vector illustration type maybe we'll keep it off with this one and then these i hardly ever touch i feel like the Bottom should be a bit of a different, darker color maybe. Just a little bit. I did notice my rocks seem to be flying a bit, so... Especially this one. Oop. Bring them into the ground a bit. I don't want my rocks to be flying. 